Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us mark ourselves with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, that the rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And when they had heard this, the disciples wondered very much, saying, Who then can be saved? And Jesus beholding said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And Peter answering said to him, Behold, we have left all things and have followed thee, what therefore shall we have? And Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the regeneration, and the Son of Man shall sit on the seat of his majesty. You also shall sit on twelve seats, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall possess life everlasting. And many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of the needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When we are asked to ponder the characteristics of a hero or heroine, we often come up with things like, strength, courage, bravery, and honor. Sometimes we may include love, trustworthiness, and faithfulness, but humility is not something we hold in high esteem. Humility is for those who are not man enough to fight through a difficulty or trial. Humility is for those who are weak. As others may say, but this is not true. In all things though, we must pray. We must be willing to let God speak to us in the quiet of our hearts, for as Mother Teresa teaches us, if you face God in prayer and silence, God will speak to you. Then you will know that you are nothing. It is only when you realize your nothingness, your emptiness, that God can fill you with Himself. Just as a camel can only pass through the eye of a needle on its knees, so too a rich person can only enter the kingdom of heaven on his knees before his God and King. Just as Indiana Jones discovers in the last crusade, the penitent man will pass before God, and he does so on his knees in prayer. Prayer Lord, give us a humble spirit to decrease in the eyes of others, that we might become nothing. Christ Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. Let us now pray the prayer to St. Augustine. For behold, you were within me, and I outside, and I sought you outside, and in my ugliness fell upon those lovely things that you have made. You were with me, and I was not with you. I was kept from you by those things, yet had they not been in you, they would not have been at all. You called and cried to me and broke upon my deafness, and you sent forth your light and shone upon me and chased away my blindness. You breathed fragrance upon me, and I drew in my breath and did not pant for you. You touched me, and I have burned for your peace. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, 
you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.